My work week got a little bit of an extra challenge. Um, I am currently in quarantine because um, my roommate tested positive, which means that since I live in the same house, I have to be in quarantine as well. And that sucks. Um, we were self-test, tested positive, and a few days later she also did a official test. Um, and that also came out positive. So she definitely has corona. Um, I did a self-test as well, um, mine is luckily negative, so I don't have corona for now, but it does mean that I have to stay in this room for five days. Then I can get an official test done. Then I have to be back home, not allowed outside until I get my test results back. 
which I hope will be negative as well. Because um, if they are negative, then I can end my quarantine by Sunday. Hopefully. Um, but it means that I will be in quarantine for at least one and a half weeks. Um, and for my work environment, it doesn't change much since I already work from home. But uh, the extra challenges now are that I can't do uh, my own groceries. So I have to ho order my groceries. And there comes the extra challenge that uh, I have a food allergy. So lots of stuff isn't available. Um, yeah, which isn't that handy. And it also means that if I receive orders during my quarantine time, I can't go outside to deliver them to the mailbox. Because I'm not allowed outside. For now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that sucks. Um, big time. And I also have to cancel a lot of client visits and I can't go to the studio this week. Um, but to look at it from the bright side, I am tested negative. I'm still healthy. I can still smell and taste everything. So I hope it stays that way. <laughs> would, would be nice. Um, but it also means that I... Uh, it's my birthday a couple days from now on. So I have to... I have a quarantine birthday <laughs> on my own. Um, but yeah. That sucks. Uh, I planned to go to my family for that weekend to see them. But yeah, it is what it is for now. Um, yeah, it brings extra challenges. And I also noticed that now that I know that I will be stuck inside for a couple of days, um, that I want to go outside even more. Um, but I think it's just the psychological part of that. Um, I'm just really grateful that uh, my place is warm. Um, in a couple of days I will receive my groceries. So I have to look out for... Uh, no, not look out. I Like I do have a bit of food left, so I hope I can make it till Tuesday with my food <laughs> that I have left. Um, and yeah, we will see what we can do this week. Um, I have to finish one client uh, commission, um, the tattoo design I need to finish this week. So that's my goal to at least finish that for this week because that needs to be done and yeah i hope i can get my concentration back for the rest of the week and work on my report and my website and doing a couple of small tasks in between but yeah it doesn't make working from home fun at this point. Um, but I hope everything will go go alright. And that's... I keep testing negative. So... I can go outside in a week. Hopefully. It is what it is. Um, I'm just grateful that I'm still healthy and... I do have a bit of food left. And I'm not entirely alone. I have... Obviously, Koya at my own room, but yeah, it does make it a bit more challenging. 
because I need to disinfect everything when I go outside my room. So if I have to go to the toilet, I need to wear a mask. Uh, grab grab a piece of towel uh, or like disinfect disinfecting spray and disinfect all the door handles, all the light knobs before I can safely go to the toilet. So and wash my hands, disinfect my hands every single time that I do it. So we are up for a ride this week. Um, <laughs> I hope I can get keep my spirits high. Um, but yeah, it uh, it it is an extra challenge. Um, yeah, I I noticed I'm rambling as well. So um, yeah, I will I will go back to work um, for now, and I will check with you guys back later. quarantine thing um, is giving me extra extra challenges um, because I have to order my food now and um, I'm allergic to gluten so there's a bunch of stuff that I can't eat um, tonight I will get a delivery of my food and I just got a message from the delivering uh, service that some uh, products weren't available, but I replaced it. And not to sound like a very spoiled, but <laughs> there is with gluten-free bread, there is like certain breads that are good to eat like they're uh, a decent flavor and, and not stale not dry or anything and i ordered like four breads of that specific type that i know is good and will uh, be freezable for in my freezer so i can keep them longer and i just received an email that that type of bread isn't available <laughs> so they replaced it with another type of bread that I know from experience is isn't the best I usually uh, do my groceries on Monday and I like uh, buy everything for a week it is now Tuesday and this is my lunch because I don't have any more food left. I have like one cup of soup, that's my dinner, and at ho hopefully at 8 pm or 10 pm my food gets delivered. 
So this is what I have to eat until then. Uh, this is all that I've got uh, currently. So yeah, it's 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 a whole challenge. Um, but I am grateful that I have a piece of clementine left, and that I tested negative. So hopefully it stays negative. Um, I have to do uh, another test on Friday and I, I, I pray that it's negative. Would you look at that? It's a scrambled egg. <laughs> and that in the microwave. This morning I had the official COVID test done by the government. So far I still haven't developed any any symptoms. I can still smell any t everything, I can still taste everything. My nose isn't stuffy or anything, so I hope it turns out negative. So I can go outside again. Because the hardest part of this whole week was not being able to go outside. And it does affect your, your brain so much. It's, it's very strange. Because I'm used to working from home. But the fact that I'm not allowed to go outside makes it difficult. Um, which I didn't expect that it would affect me that much, but uh, for this whole work week I just didn't have the concentration to work. Um, I'm also really tired, so 
So I think it's also like a sign of the universe that I just need to slow things down a bit. Um, so I try to do that. Mm. But yeah, I had a nice long bike ride outside to go to the testing site. Uh, even though um, it is, it has been raining the whole morning, it still is raining outside now. I didn't mind because I was outside and I could feel the wind in my face and smell the outdoor. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just really happy that I could go outside today. Um, so hopefully I will get my test results maybe this evening and otherwise tomorrow. And I just I just hope it's negative. Because if it turns out positive then I have to stay inside for another 10 days. And yeah, that would suck. But it is what it is and I'm just fortunate enough to still be healthy, even though the situation just sucks. Mm. So yeah, I'm just taking it easy and doing what I can, what I feel like doing for that day and yeah, it is what it is, I can't, I can't change it and I can only change my own reaction to it and I choose to be focusing more on gratefulness and happiness instead of all the negative stuff because I can't uh, we ain't going get we ain't gonna get far with negative stuff so yeah <laughs> so that's an update for now um, the test was really easy peasy um, I was a bit nervous at first, but that's because uh, like you've seen all those horror stories going around on the internet and even though I'm a person who like no, I don't like to make an opinion before I've experienced it but still my body was nervous uh, for the test but it, it was super easy, super quick uh, didn't hurt at all which is great <laughs> and yeah I just hope it turns out negative but we will see uh, now the only thing I can do is wait and while I'll wait I can try and get some stuff done but yeah that's it for now um, yeah I'm sorry it's already chatty video this week but yeah <laughs> it is kind of because of the circumstances um, but I hope you still enjoyed this video <laughs> nevertheless and hopefully I can show you guys something else next week yeah <laughs> Koya on the other end is thriving because now that, that I'm home every day, it also means he can be outside of his cage the whole day. So he is having a great time. Um, <laughs> also, these are the uh, earrings that I made earlier in the video. I'm just testing them out. I felt like making something for myself. Um, the beads are inspired by the... Uh, shooting star clay pens that I made earlier that are still available in my shop so yeah I'm just testing some new things out see if I like doing it and maybe I can put it up on my shop if people like it enough um, but yeah I I quite like the mismatched look of it I think it's more quirky and cute this way yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys.
Thank you.